Hi everyone, it's Sunday and you know what that means. It's time for the Nail Polish Lottery Club results. And for those of you who don't know what that is, I will put a link down below and it explains all about it. But basically, this started from like a year ago. I started every Sunday by wearing a polish from my collection that I'd never worn before. And I would post about it on my blog and do a video and I called it Sunday Series. It was like, and I put out there that I needed a name for it. And one of my viewers came up with um, 50 Shades of Sunday. And some of you may remember for a few months I did that. And I just kind of got tired of pick, I was picking the same types of polish over and over again. And then my friend Deanna came up with a great idea of having random.org choose a random number for us and to use that number. So the first thing I did was I made a numbered list of my untried nail polishes. Not my whole collection, just my untried. And then every Monday we draw a number, we use random.org, and whatever that number is, that's the number of polish that I will wear and everybody else who's participating will wear. And it's really kind of fun because we're all using the same number, but there's so many different polishes out there. And it's fun to see bits and pieces of everybody's collection. And our Facebook page is just, we, Deanna started a Facebook page and I, you know, at first I was just thrilled with the, results we had like 10 people join us and we're almost at 100 which I think is just incredible excuse me anyway it's um been a lot of fun it's been so much fun getting to know the new people that without this I would have never known them and they're just so much fun but this week their number was 128 and yes I do have 128 untried nail polishes if you don't have 128 untried, what you do is add 1 plus 2 plus 8, and that would be number 11. So you would use number 11 on your list. Um, but number 128 on my list was this Vanique, and it's called Whiskey Vamp. And this is, I have some, I was doing some painting last night, so I have paint on my nails. I've had this on for a few days, so I'm taking it off today. And actually, I'm going to put on a green, um, a bright green for St. Patrick's Day. So, excuse the mess that my nails are in. I probably should have checked that before I did this video. Here, this hand looks much better. Anyway, this is Vinique. You guys all know I love this polish. Vinique was launched... Um, just about a year ago, it was in the fall of 2011, they launched with like 78 core colors. Now they have about 200. And this polish is, I, I just, I can't explain how great it is. It goes on like glass. It just dries smooth. It's, it's just great. I really like it. I love the formula. I like the brush. The brush isn't too big. It's not too little. It picks up just the right amount of polish that you need. Um, it's just a great polish and it's seven dollars. So it's not real expensive. This polish, the quality of it could easily be a fifteen to twenty dollar polish. The only downside to it is the only place you can buy it is at salons. Um, they've kept it exclusive to like beauty salons. So if you ever see it at your beauty shop, be sure to try it out because it's a great polish. I also, I made a deal with Vinique. I can sell it, so if you are interested, I can get you some. Um, like I said, it's $7.00. But it's just a great polish. They have a, there's a top coat. And with the top coat, it has an ingredient called Siltec that allows your, the polish to 
expand and contract with your nail. So their theory on that is that your manicure will last 10 days to 14 days. And I know that there's some people, Upsy Beads 59, she did a really cute video where she actually put it on, you know, did the whole manicure and then did a whole thing of cleaning her house. And she uh, really put it to the test. And at the end of 10 days, her nails looked great. You guys all know I don't wear polish 10 days, so I can't attest as to how long the wear is on it. Anyway, it's a great polish. It's a great color. I don't know why I'd never worn this before because this is just my, my, this is like my perfect color that I love. And again, it's called Whiskey Vamp. They name their polish after shoes, which is kind of a weird thing. They say that a woman's best accessories are her shoes and her nails. So, to me, that doesn't make much sense to name the polish after shoes. But, oh well, I'm not the one naming the polish. Anyway, the other thing, I want to show you a couple of more things. This, I picked these polishes up last night, and look, they're Revlon. Yes, Revlon in these little bottles, and it's called Revlon Chrome Chrome Chameleon. But what it is basically is a duochrome, and I think Revlon is kind of late to the party on the duochrome. But I picked these up. They were, um, I think, $4.99. But it was if you bought one, you got one half off. And these bottles are smaller. They're 0.29 ounces. But, um, yeah, this is the first time I've seen Revlon in a little bottle like this. So I thought that was kind of interesting. I wanted to show you guys that. Um, oh, the other thing I picked up that was kind of fun. Remember Lip Smackers and the Dr. Pepper Lip Smackers? Oh my gosh, I, those have been around forever, even when I was in junior high school, when my girls were in junior high school, like Dr. Pepper Lip Smackers was the thing. So I picked those up, I picked a couple up, and I'm going to send some to some friends. And then the other thing I wanted to tell you guys, I know, just shoot me now, right? I have had no subscriptions. I got rid of my Glossy Box. They made me so mad I couldn't even see straight. I stopped dealing with Birchbox. What else? All of them. I had no more uh, subscriptions. So I signed up again for the Glam Bag, which is now called Ipsy Bag. And the reason I did, this one is $10 a month. The reason I signed up for it, I like these little bags, and every month you get a little bag like this. I have two girls that are, most of you know, one's 25 and one is 27. And I like having these little bags around because I will have one bag, like for Jilly, and one bag for Ashley. And if I think Jilly will like something, I'll put it in there. If I think Ashley will like it. And I've actually used all my bags. I have no more. So anyway, I signed up for it. $10 a month. And I wanted to show you what I got this month in my Ipsy. I don't know if they call it Ipsy bag or my glam. But the great escape. Here's the card that came with it. Um, I haven't really. I opened this, but I haven't really looked at what is in here. And I need my cheaters. This is Juice Beauty Hydrating Mist. The Organic Solution Tones and Refreshes. And I, to tell you the truth, I don't know if that's, is that for your face or for your hair? I don't know. Oh, this is kind of a nice little thing. It's from LA Fresh. It's a little mini packet of makeup remover wipes. There's eight wipes in there. Dissolves makeup from eyes, lips, and face. Moisturizing formula with vitamin E. I think that'll be a handy little thing to have. 
What is this? This is Glam RX. Oh, this is kind of a cute little thing. It says Glam RX, and there is a mirror on it, but there's a little. So I guess you could put. I don't know what you would put in there. Maybe you could put a little teeny tiny. Oh, maybe these go in there. These are, these look like uh, eyeshadows. They're in these little packages. And this one says uh, seashell. And this one is azalea petal. So maybe, maybe those go in here. And then you would have little eyeshadows. Maybe that's what that is. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. They have no, um, on the card, I mean, it doesn't say anything about it. Just that this Yabby, which are those little eyeshadows, is 25% off. Glam RX, 20% off. Anyway, so there's no information as far as what anything is for, but the bag is nice. It's lined. It's got the little logo in there and the zipper. Anyway, so I'm back with the Ipsy bag. We'll see how long it lasts until I want to yell at them and get mad at them and cancel but no I, I do like these little bags and for ten dollars it's not a bad deal anyway that's all I have for you guys today I'm gonna go I'm headed to my folks right now I am helping my mom today with uh, her shower and that's kind of both of us end up taking a shower that's kind of why my hair is a mess because I knew it would be a mess after that and then I'm hoping that we can go see my daughter she lives about 25 miles away and we're just full on in the midst of wedding planning so I'm hoping we can go see her for today and that's what my plans are I hope you guys are having a great day and thank you so much for watching bye